Welcome to the last video of 2022. Today we're going to model a fantastic ring called the Roxelana ring or the Hurem Sultan ring. One of my followers wants to know how to complete this design in Blender. I will be using Blender 3.4 and today's tutorial is going to be a complete tutorial. So let's start this tutorial and be happy. Alright, first goodbye to the default cube, delete and delete the light. Let's go to front view. Numpad one. First, the finger size, reference, mesh, circle, align. To the view, vertices 121, radius 17.3 divided by 2. This is an American size of 7, which is pretty good as a standard for woman ring. F2, let's call it size 7, ref size. Here we are. Don't forget to save and be happy. Roxelana. Ring. So now this ring has a big pier shape stone as a main central stone. Let's go to my library, append. So the gemstone library right here. Now let's append the pier shape. Okay, so obviously this is way too small. Let's scale it first. Okay, we'll set the stone to a size of 5.7 to 8.6. So adapt the Z scale. Now place the stone pretty high here. This is a big ring. That's why it's quite gorgeous. Okay, this is perfect for the central stone. So let's call this pear shape central stone. Save and be happy. Now we need some diamonds. A pound and let's go get your diamond. Here our favorite diamonds right there. Now this ring has two ranges of halo diamonds around the central stone. The first range is bigger than the second smaller diamond range. So for these diamonds, we'll go at 1.5. Don't forget to copy and paste the scale right there. This is just to have first an idea of the sizes of the proportions. Now let's copy it. And this one will go at one. Copy paste the scale. Okay, this is pretty nice. Let's call this range one diamond 0 0.001. Okay, and the next diamond, let's call it Diamond range 2.0 to separate the ranges. Let's save and be happy. All right, now first let's create the bezel setting for the central stone. So let's take the central stone. Let's make a shift D click to copy it. Let's call this bezel center stone right there. Let's go to edit mode. Alt Z, Alt A. Now let's select the vertices, inner vertices like this. Delete vertices. So we have these borders. Now side view, B, select the top range right there. Let's do an S, Z, zero to level these vertices on the Z axis. Now let's do control I, S, Z, zero. And let's bring this somewhere here. Okay, now let's start adapting the shapes. Alt A, B, select this level right here and scale it like that. To control I, let's scale this a bit like this. Okay, now let's extrude on the Z axis, not too much. This design will be made for rendering purposes. Remember, the settings for the manufacturing model are always bigger than what I'm going to do now. All right, so the manufacturing model must be adapted for manufacturing, all right? This will be done for rendering. Okay, extrude and scale very slightly, all right? Just to make a small edge. Extrude, move down and scale like that. Maybe not too big. That will be the thickness of the bezel. This will be pretty fine, all right. Extrude on the Z axis. We're going to bring it here. Alt Z, Alt A, B. Let's select these levels. S, Z, 0 to level them. Bring them a bit lower and let's make them a bit smaller. Now let's adapt the thickness a bit more here. Now, Alt Z, Alt A, B. These levels, you connect them using edges, bridge, edge loops. Now it's closed. This is great. Exit edit mode, Alt A, Ctrl S, save and be happy. All right, here, let's have a look at modifiers, add bevel modifier. Now let's go to subdivision surface. Okay, this is smoother. Let's go at level two. This is pretty great. Now let's go to a shade auto smooth. So the setting of the central stone is completed. Now here, I'm going to use the diamonds to have an idea of the size. Let's move them a bit higher here. Okay, this is pretty nice, just to get an idea. So now what we're going to do is take the bezel, make a shift D, click. Let's remove the modifiers for a second. Let's go to edit mode. Here, we're going to deselect the inside with shift and the C. 
action. Do control I, delete vertices. I'm just keeping this edge. I'm going to move it a bit higher, like here. Let's scale there. So we're inside the metal. And from here, we're going to start choosing the level here. And let's extrude E and scale. Now, this has an angle here. We're going to create the general structure. So let's extrude here. Bring this down here. And let's scale this. It's slightly conical to the inside here. So this element, we're going to keep hollow like this because in fact, it's just an element that we'll use for placements. So let's call this shell size. Let's save and be happy. Now I'm going to prepare the settings for the diamond. So let's bring this diamond to the center right there. Do a shift S cursor to select it and let's bring a mesh circle. So radius is going to be 1.5 divided by 2 and let's use 50 vertices now front view let's go to edit mode let's scale this let's bring it here now extrude on the z-axis scale adapt extrude on the z-axis here here extrude move scale maybe not that much here extrude scale here extrude adapt the position and scale extrude on the z-axis here make it slightly conical here extrude scale here move it up slightly do a b select the other level here and do a bridge edge loops exit mode now we're going to start now let's start creating materials to differentiate the object this will be gold and it's a yellow gold yellow gold the diamond should already have a material that's pretty good actually let's call it okay the central stone will be an emerald and the other ones will be diamonds okay so we have the yellow gold material this will be yellow gold it's the shell the bezel will be yellow gold now we can start putting some colors we do that quite early in the process to visualize better our element here right and well the diamond is slightly blue so we recognize that some material is already set like this okay so the setting here is not done all right so this element Add modifier, subdivision surface. Prior to that, put some bevel modifier so it doesn't shrink. Shade auto smooth. Okay, here I'm going to make an alt C to now object convert to mesh. If you don't have the shortcut, let's assign a shortcut of alt C, which is always and always which has always been convert to mesh and always will be convert to mesh. And now with shift select the gemstone to control j and join this element so now what i can do is turn on the snap we'll, we'll put it to base project center align rotation to target affect move and rotate now we're going to start let's add the first range diamond so let's grab this all right and we can now we can so that's why we have the shell so we can snap to the shell right let's do a shift d and let's come here to the front this is the first diamond i don't want it to touch the bevel right but i don't want any angle here this is zero this is zero also and and this angle has to be parallel here and it's on zero okay so first we use the snap and then we adapt now let's do a shift d right here and let's set the mirror based on the shell on the x-axis Okay, and we can start distributing the diamonds as needed. Shift D, so just a slight distance to the bezel. Okay, this friend, let's adapt the distance right here. Keep an even, let's keep an even distance. It's much faster to do this by hand instead of trying to use any curve modifier or array. Okay, all these, if you forgot to add the modifier, don't worry. Get the last one with the modifier turned on, go to object, link transfer data, copy modifiers, and it will set the modifiers to all your friends right here. This is great. There, adapt the distances so you have even distances. You'll get used to that. The more you do it, the faster you will be, and you'll understand why some specific scale training is always better than any add-on. You'll get to that. It will grow on you. So these are the first range diamonds. Okay, so the second range of diamonds will be set with a pavé setting directly in the metal. So what I need is to simply distribute the diamonds 
all around and let's do the same process we have the snap journal let's grab this diamond and set it there now we will have a border here so before i continue let me create that border because that border is going to help us distribute the second range of diamonds shift d on the shell don't forget to turn off the snap okay now this is not what i need let's do control i let's delete these vertices now select everything and let's find where this range is going to now here we have some decision to make because obviously the proportion of the y-axis is a bit shorter here okay and we need to adapt the proportion on the x and y-axis somewhere here okay this is pretty good let's bring this here so i'm going to let me just adapt slightly these two frames okay some details don't forget to adapt the details also now let's extrude this here and move it slightly down like this now select everything and this border is going to rise first and now we're going to lower it so because of the shell let's hide the shell first let's hide the shell for a second okay and let's adapt the proportion on the y-axis okay don't forget to adapt the position all right now let's show the shell again i'm going to lower i'm going to lower it slightly here now i'm going to create the second range of diamonds bring it here x zero no angles there and there and okay now let's check the placement of this diamond adapt adapt the angles remove the angles and check the correct rotation to follow the shell like this and let's turn on the snap shift d and let's follow this border let's turn on the mirror based on the central stone on the x-axis and let's go shift now these diamonds will have shared prongs if possible and will be set in the metal let's follow the shell then we'll adapt the structure the metallic structure the gold structure will create all the prongs all the settings keep distributing your diamonds shift d shift d so here i can see that i have slightly more distance i can adapt that on some of the stone to distribute the new distance and we'll be fine okay this is perfect we have two ranges here we need to create the settings now so the shell was just a shell save and be happy make a shift d to copy the shell remove the magnet now this is a copy of the shell so this one is range one order right because for me it goes with the first range now the copy of the shell don't forget to hide the original okay so this shell is going to be called range two ground this is going to be the metal structure for the second range of diamonds here i'm going to erase these and those i'm just keeping this order okay so first here i need to adapt slightly the proportion on x and y and adapt the position this is great now we're going to extrude let's adapt the position here let's do an sz sy adapt the proportion so you come to the inside of this border and follow the angle of the diamonds like this this is pretty good now what we need here is some thickness so let's select everything a extrude on the z-axis let's go at 0.9 this is the thickness okay now here also if you see some details here and there don't forget to adapt the details of the shape okay so this is a solid base if you think it's too thick don't worry much you can adapt the thickness as needed i'm going to go at 0.2 to keep a thickness of 0.6 which is already really really thin so here i'm going to adapt a couple of things this border height i'm going to adapt it so it comes slightly lower than the ground of the second range like this exited mode alt a let's save for a second now i need now let's create the prongs for these diamonds add mesh sphere go at 60 30 let's try 8.7 that's too big let's go at 0.5 okay this is good edit mode lc of a b let's make the prong not too long in this case something like this now let's check that your center is a bit lower than the rest of the sphere something like this should be pretty fine because the prong needs to reach the diamonds and because we are using the snap 
to the center. This is yellow gold. Shade auto smooth right there. Now let's turn on the mirror from X based on the central stone or the bezel center stone. It's the same. All right, now let's grab and let's start making the, the settings. Okay, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. So one of the biggest advantages of doing this by hand, yes, it's slightly slower than using an automated Pave function, but anything I need to adapt in details, I can do on the fly as I go. So in fact, you'll end up learning that doing this by hand is faster in the end than using automated functions. It's the irony of light. It's the fun of light also. Okay, this one goes at zero on X. All right, last prong here. Obviously, we will check some other details. Depends the angle. All right, we might need a prong at the tip. I think it's better here. One, let's remove the mirror and let's adapt. Zero on X. These angles must be removed. We are reaching the diamonds. This is great. This is perfect. Now, let me see the shell again. Let's take the shell and move it a bit higher. Somewhere here should be pretty nice. What we're going to do is that we're going to take one of the prongs there and we're going to copy it. Turn on the magnet, the snap, and make a shift D. Now, these prongs are going to be different. This is a one range of prongs, so it's they're centered between the stones and they go like this. I made the prong bigger so it reaches each stone. This is enough metal to properly set these diamonds. This one has no mirror. X0. Let's remove the angles there. Let's remove the snap to adapt the position. Let's have a look at this position right there. Okay, this is pretty nice. Now let's hide the shell for a second. Okay, this is pretty good, but it's not enough structure, especially for a big ring here. So we are going to create some structure. Let's add a Bezier curve. Let's go to edit mode and we're going to make some secondary decorations in between these stones, some small bridges, okay? And don't forget to check the Z dimension right here. They'll have some curves to, to them. Obviously, we'll, we'll bevel these curves. This is a good beginning. All right, this is what we have for now. Let's go to geometry. Resolution 45 and geometry down here. Round at a depth of, let's try 0.35. Point three will be fine. Resolution 24, fill caps. Gold, yellow gold. All right, let's go to edit mode, adapt position and the design. This will add some small decorations. Don't forget to stay inside the metal and this will help create a solid structure to properly support the first range of diamonds. So it combines a technical function with an aesthetical function. That's why jewelry design is something that must be studied all right now let's turn the mirror based on the central elements here so obviously it's a bit discreet because most of the prongs and the diamonds are hiding the these supports but in the end it's always important all right now from edit mode to an a select these vertices and copy your curve and we're going to adapt we'll make it obviously shorter and straighter right and keep some angles so you get in between the stones and the prongs. Under prongs is a perfect position, so it makes all the, the lower part much prettier to look at, and this is the best situation possible. So if you want now, you can go at the view from below. Now, let's select these two vertices. Let's do a shift D in edit mode all the time. Check that you're not coming out of the bezel there, okay? And let's keep adapting. Shift, shift D, rotate. You can rotate also. If you don't change the angle of your supports. Shift D, rotate. Obviously, at some point, you must adapt the length and the path your support. Check that you're really inside the metal here. Okay, here, do an SX0. Go to global position, and let's go at 0. So this is really good for beginning. This is the top of the ring of the design. We need a border on the outside for this frame, so let's copy it. Let's call this range 2 bezel, uh, range 2 border. Here, let's go to edit mode. Now, I don't want the inside, so let's select it right there. It's here. Now, let's do an A. Scale it a bit smaller here. And now, 
extrude it and get it here. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take this in here, okay, and this I'm going to do very slightly bigger and also lower down the ground we've created earlier, just like this. So here, what we might like is a loop cut on the outside here, make it slightly bigger to make the outside a bit rounder, like this. Okay, now let's add a bevel, pretty strong one here will be fine. And let's go to a subdivision surface level two, and don't forget the auto smooth shading. Now, this is pretty good. We just need some cutters for all these diamonds. So let's go and see. All right, so let's select with shift here in the outliner all these diamonds. Let's copy these diamonds now. Shift D, enter. I'll see to make them as meshes. Apply the mirrors. Control J. Let's call these cutters diamonds range two. Now let's go to edit mode. Let's do an Alt A, and we're going to select the lower tip of the diamond, the lower levels, because it's the tip and the secondary level. Okay, let's select this. All right, now let's do an extrude on the Z-axis. Let's go down here. Obviously, they're going to have some weird shapes, but from this, from this, let's add a remesh modifier like this. 0.6 for me is pretty good. Let's go at smooth. Let's go back to general view. Here, we're going to add some solidify at offset one and check that you're growing the cutters just a bit at point oh one we're pretty good so then we need to do another remesh let's go at local view let's go at point oh six point oh three okay point oh three should be pretty good we'll have to see if these bindings here and there are affecting the result so we need the ground of the second range at modifier boolean past the difference from the cutters right there let's do a local view and let's have a look at this magnificent boolean okay obviously now we can take the cutters and hide them and remove them from rendering obviously okay so this is quite perfect for the top of the ring with all the settings okay we're going to show the shell for a second just removing from rendering now that I remember. and uh, let's adapt this shell here there slightly this y, okay, this x, okay, so this goes with the size of the design, this is good, so this is just a reference, and remember that now we're going to create the body of the ring, so some say that this ring has one strong arm, one strong body, some others say that it has two arms or three arms, you'll see all type of variants, from what I've seen that is closer to the supposed original, it's one strong body, and decorations on the bezel on the body of the ring i don't know i will add decorations on the body honestly because it's going to look amazing because this was a woman's ring a sultan ring some 500 years ago jewelry used to be much decorated much more decorated systematically decorated for cultural and artistic reasons for their beliefs they didn't have this minimalistic contemporary thinking that you might very easily find nowadays and the funny thing again the irony of life they had less technology but maybe they have more spiritual and artistic knowledge. All right, so for the body of the ring, I'm going to add a busy curve aligned to the view. Go to edit mode, let's scale it, and let's bring it somewhere there, and let's adapt more or less to the finger size. Okay, let's do something like this. Okay, now let's go to properties, let's go to resolution 45, and that's pretty good for now. Now here, come view, come there, add curve, busy circle. Right, let's center it on X and let's go to edit mode. Now, let's take this and let's make this donut shape type of design. Now, let's take these as X and now let's take this one and let's do a subdivide. Now, here we're going to rotate minus 70 degrees and on the other side is going to be plus 70 degrees. Like this, we can keep the symmetry, okay? Let's make it smaller to keep some thickness. And here we're going to adapt the curvature. I want it pretty round. Make the top a bit rounder here, a bit bigger, a bit scale. This is what we have. So this is ring body profile profile shape. Let's save and be. So let's take our half circle right there, which is a curve. Let's go to geometry bevel object. Let's select our profile shape. Now, obviously, we need to reset the rotation of this curve like this. Okay, let's center it on Y because it's on the ring. Okay, and now we're going to go to edit mode and let's start adapting here. So we follow the finger, obviously. 
All right, but now here, let's try a radius of two. Seems pretty nice to me. And let's adapt shape and position. Don't forget to fill the caps here. Now, this is going to be yellow gold. And let's do control A location here. And add modifier mirror on the x axis is pretty good. And because it's a curve, you can't add much more of a modifier. I'm going to test a radius of 2.5. Now, here, what I don't like much is that. The progression here is not so nice. Top view, let's use a tapper curve. So let's create a basic curve. Now let's take this, let's go to properties, tapper object right there, select the curve, and obviously let's start adapting the curve. We need to find which end is what end. This is the beginning and this is the end. And uh, let's adapt the shape. Okay, so now obviously let's go and readapt to the finger reference. So we're going to add decorations all of that. The main shell is going to get decorations, proper thickness to our ring. The main shape is the pier shape, the raindrop shape, okay, which is always very attractive in jewelry, obviously. Very classy, very elegant. And we'll have some decorations on the body. Obviously, it's going to be some floral decorations. Okay, now let's take the ring size reference. Let's make a shift D to copy it. Let's go to edit mode. Everything is selected. Let's move it there, let's close it with F. Let's extrude it on the Y axis here. Select everything, mesh normals outside. Exit edit mode, save and be happy. Let's call this solid, all right. Now, this is going to help visualize where the decorations can fit, okay? Now also, let me check something about the placement of the body of the ring. Let's Fine, tweak this before working on the decorations. Well, set origin to center of surface. Okay, there. This is a Y of 148, okay, on the Y axis, which means that we can try the same Y axis here. Okay, this is pretty, pretty good. So now, the moment we're all been waiting for the decorations, because obviously, this is why you're all here. Now, obviously, I'm joking. Most of you are here for that. There are several ways to create decorations on objects. We're going to create a plane aligned to the view. We're going to move it somewhere here. Uh, let's make the plane at point six. Bring it somewhere here. So here I can see I don't have much space. Let's select these. Okay, so here we're going to adapt. You'll see that the Roxolana ring, the Huram ring, the Sultan ring, it's a big ring. Okay, so here let's go at point 85, a bit higher. And let's adapt this like this save and be happy all right so now the plane on the side let's call it decorations now actually let's move it out here not too far we'll be fine here okay now what we want to do is the shrink wrap we're going to project on the shell it's going to be in the nearest surface no offsets and we get this all right so with this we can start modeling so let me move this a bit here close to the center of the elements all right and always check that you are outside of the mesh there pretty good edit mode vertex mode alt a b let's start extruding rotating extruding rotating thing so extrude rotate extrude rotate extrude extrude rotate grab extrude rotate here i need more rotation extrude scale rotate so now from there let's take an edge and let's extrude 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 obviously it's very much advised for you to create a drawing before creating any type of decoration but first don't worry too much it won't look like much bit by bit it's going to become something very attractive and your satisfaction will be fulfilled even Mick Jagger will be satisfied okay so because it's such ring wrap to the nearest surface obviously don't forget to check that you're not too far from said surface uh, too close either so let me do something similar with this one RZ rotate it And also don't forget that at first these are projected planes so maybe the effect of the design will be different once it becomes solid 
So at this point, what I'm going to do, we are going to add the solidify modifier thickness one. Okay, the scale is not set, apply the scale. Now, when this happens, it means that the orientations, the normals are not even. Just take this one, L, normal, flip, and everybody's happy. And thickness may be at 0.8. And now let's make a bevel and then make a subdivision surface. At level, let's put three and auto smooth right here. And this will be gold. Things like this, when there's too much distance and depending the angle between vertices, you get these corners that we don't want. Go to edit mode and start correcting. You see that very quickly by adjusting the distances, the curve doesn't break anymore. And uh, well, that's obviously important to fine tweak the design. And if for any reason you can't get rid of a corner, it means that you need a loop cut. So you can do that with loop cut or use a knife tool to create more divisions any way that you need. So here, by example, I have this problem, this face. Let's, let me select this face, W subdivide. Now this can be tweaked more properly because honestly, we're not using much geometry, which is amazing. But suddenly we need subdivision right there. Okay, so this is one sword. We need to proceed to the other side, very much the same. All right, so I've completed the decorations of uh, the main shape of the ring. Now we need uh, the border down here to connect the base the endings. Okay, so to do that, I'm going to take this border, copy it. I'm going to go to edit mode, D, L, A, B. I'm going to remove these levels here. Now this is pretty good. We'll tweak some things a bit later. Okay, here, let's remove these. We need to project first on this cylinder here. This one will be a project. Obviously, we need to tweak the size. But before we do that, let's go at modifier, solidifier, thickness 1, 0.85. Then let's go at bevel and let's go at subdivision surface. Now edit mode, A, S, X, we need B on the inside. Let's save and be happy. So now, we're not just done yet. The body of the ring made some decorations too. Some isometric view. It's always nice to change between isometric view and perspective view. You get a better idea of your design. All right, now here on the inside, I need to create a cutter. So I'm going to take one of the pier shapes. I'm going to copy it. In the meanwhile, don't forget to copy the body of the ring and transform it to mesh. Okay, so here I am with this copy of the border. Now this, I need to make one solid shape. Let's remove these levels here. Let's select the surrounding here. Control Y, delete the inside. Okay, now A, F, remove the modifiers. Let's come here and let's start extruding. Let's extrude on the Z axis. Make this bigger. A, make it smaller. And we're going to make a Boolean test. Here, let's select the body of the ring. So here we have the cut, this cutter. Well, let's make it simply smaller first here and uh, let's check the position there. Okay, we need to adjust the angle. So let's come to this view of the of A, B. I want this to be smaller. What we can do is make a beveling and a subdivision here. All right, now we're going to start decorating the body of the ring. Let's side view, add curve, busy curve, align it to the view right here, edit mode. We're going to make some nice details starting near the junction of the body and the settings. Right, subdivide once more right there. And let's see, okay, we need to follow the correct edge. All right, top view. Add curve, circle, busy circle right here, zero mix. Let's go to one for the size, control A, scale, let's go to edit mode. A, a V for vector, V, v for handle type, and let's go to a vector. Okay, now here we're going to subdivide twice, and we're going to take the corners and scale them down to make the edges a bit smoother. We can do this twice to make two levels of smoothing. This is pretty nice. Let's call this Deco's body profile, profile. Here we are. Nice. So let's go to the curve we've made there. That means tweaking anyway. And we'll go at the resolution of 45. Let's go to geometry bevel object. This shape we just made here. And this is pretty nice. It's going to be yellow gold here. And 
let us tweak now let's select everything a from view should be i want to double it like this the mean radius let's go to 1.5 on this one let's go and add a mirror this is a good start but we want decorations copy this should be go to edit mode a leads all the vertices save and be happy we want some of these floral designs on the body to ring let's turn on the snap and let's start drawing with control rest right there Okay, and we're going to come here. Okay, something important. Don't forget to turn on the belt caps. We don't necessarily need a tapper curve. And uh, sometimes remove the snap when you find tweak the curves. But use the snap to make them follow the surface quicker. Make it end on the inside here. Now, obviously, the tilt must be visually adjusted. That's the part that is a bit time consuming. But you can do that at the end, right? But it's pretty nice because you can give a very special look to your curves thanks to the tilt. Now always check that you're not coming out. Also always check on the inside. Let's keep working with these decorations. If you want, you can change the radius here and make it maybe thicker there. The development of the curve varies a bit more. And this is great. So we're going to work with this. So let's turn on the snap again. Control. L mean radius one for everybody here. All right, let's save and be happy. Okay, let's do a top view. Now, this is what I'm talking about. The decorations are really nice. We could have some small spheres just as the last touch. Okay, snap on. So, today we've modeled the Roxelana Hurem Sultan ring. It's a very famous ring. It has a lot of history. Thanks to my follower who requested help about this design. Thanks for liking, subscribing, becoming members. This is the last design of the year, 2022. Members are going to get this ring, so become a member. Thanks for buying my assets on the Blender market. A percentage going to the Blender fund. It's always great to help. So obviously, many people, many of my followers are from other religions, other countries that have different calendaries and other traditions. So for them, obviously, it's not the end of the year at all. And they're not on holidays now. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for your support. My name is Damien Rohrbach, the jewelry rock star. As always, be kind to animals, be kind to the planet. Take care and see you soon.